Hello everybody. Uh, today I make my weekend project, uh, which is uh, conductive ink. So here I have my conductive ink. Uh, this ink you can make really, really easily, and also is really cheap to make. So sadly, the conductivity of this ink is not very good because uh, sadly I'm out of graphite so uh, to make this ink more conductive you need to put more conductive material into the mix and you improve the conductivity of this ink so I will measure the ohms. Uh, my multimeter I have set to 200 ohms and here I have some samples this is about one centimeter so like I said the conductivity can be improved if you add more conductive material so I'm out of my graphite uh, I need to wait to buy new graphite powder but you can also use graphene if you want or some other conductive material I will show you also some another test. Uh, my power supply I have set to 2.2 volts and 0 0.05 amps. And here I have my small LED. This line is about 5 centimeters, and you can see the LED can light really good. So here I have a way longer line. Really awesome. And now I will show you something different. This ink you can also use like uh, for some heaters. Damn it. <sighs> All right, it's really hot. You see, I can melt. this plastic <laughs> really awesome <laughs> ah damn it
So you see, with this ink you can make heaters. Jesus. Yeah, it's really, it's really hot. So, also you can see here in the paper. Uh, but with this ink is one problem. Uh, like. Like I said, you can make this ink really easily and really cheap, but uh, you cannot use this ink in some devices which can flex, because this is not flexible, you see? This ink is not flexible at all. But this ink is also water resistant. So I will try again. So yeah, this ink is not bad, but like I said, to improve the conductivity of this ink, you need to put more conductive ink, uh, I mean conductive material. So and with this ink you can make some heaters, uh, circles, uh, so what you want uh, and now how to make this ink so to make this ink you need three materials uh, you need some sort of conductive material which is uh, graphite graphene so every conductive material will work but to make this ink really cheap is some graphite really really awesome but sadly I'm out of this graphite so you need some conductive material also you need some sort of uh, solvent and the best solvent for this is acetone because acetone based uh, if you use acetone uh, this conductive ink will dry in I don't know 
two minutes, three minutes. And also you need some binder. And the binder is this. Cigarette filters. So to make this ink you need cigarette filters, acetone and graphite. Uh, so the amount of these uh, components, uh, to be honest, I don't measure each component, uh, component to make this ink. So I use here uh, inside are six of these filters I use all of this and I put between 20 milliliters of acetone and I don't know how many grams was maybe two grams two three grams maximum but make better concentration of uh, this ink and use more graphite so if your ink will be like jelly like uh, then you need to put more acetone uh, yeah that's it for today this was my weekend project and i hope you like this video and like always we see us in the next video. Bye.